This is 7 News at 6. Gunshots ring out in Sulphur overnight, leaving one man dead and another fighting for his life. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Arsenault. And I'm Jillian Corder. KPLC's Rhonda Kitchen spoke with Sulphur's police chief and residents of the North Sulphur neighborhood where the double shooting took place. Sulphur Police Chief John Wall says a call came in just after midnight about shots fired in the 600 block of West Verdine Street. But even before officers arrived on the scene, residents in the neighborhood were gathering outside. This is hard, very difficult, okay, because this is my home. And to see something happening like this across the street, it's very nerve-wracking. Well, we found uh, one male uh, in the yard with gunshot wounds and another one in the house. Uh, one person got transported via ambulance. Any word on that person's condition? Not at the moment. But the man found outside was dead, his body laying in the yard next to his car. Uh, right now we have our detectives who are going through the, the residence in the yard looking for any evidence. But with a scene like this, Chief Wall says getting answers may take time. This is active investigation. We're still trying to piece together all the details at the moment. Neighbors, meanwhile, are hoping for good news on the condition of the homeowner, a man they say they have known for a number of years. And he loves his children. One of which, James Barbie says, was inside of the home when his father was shot. All he kept saying was his daddy was shot and there was blood everywhere. And he said that his daddy told him to call 911 and get out of the house. He called him right before I did. This is something that's going to stay with him for the rest of his life. And it's really sad because he's a young kid. In Sulphur, Rhonda Kitchens, KPLC 7 News.